going to this video, we will see the test bench in VHDL on Vivado. So let's open Vivado, create project, next, we'll call it next. I'll choose the basis 3 FPGA board, but we don't need it in this case. Okay, so first let's change the target language from Verilog to VHDL. Okay, so we'll do a simple test bench of an endport. So let's add or create design sources. Next, create file. We'll call it end pim. Finish. So now we need to specify the input and output ports. So we have two inputs, A and B, and the output, C. Okay. So now we can open the end.vhd. So now we need to write C, A, and B. Control S to save. So now we need to create the test bench in order to test the entity, the end port. So we need to add sources, add or create simulation sources, next. Create file, we'll call it end tb. Okay, finish. So we don't need to specify any input or output ports, so yes. So now in the sim folder we have the end tb. So first we need to declare the component of the end port. So we have component and pim port. So we have a in std logic b in std logic c out std logic so and component. So now we need to declare three signals, A, B and C, and we need this, these signals uh, to do the port map. So we have signal A, std logic, signal B, std logic and signal c std logic okay so so now we need to do the port map so we we have the ut and p port map so so now we are connecting the signals we have declared to the ports of the component and p okay so now we need the stimulus process. So we have steam process begin. So we will begin with A equal to zero and B equal to zero. So we'll wait for 
5 nanoseconds and then we'll change the value of a and b so we have a equal to 1 b equal to 0 we'll wait for 2 nanoseconds then we'll have a equal to 0 and b equal to 1 we'll wait for 2 nanoseconds and then we have a equal to 1 and b equal to 1 so wait and process control s to save so now if we did everything correctly uh, in the last statement when a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 1 we should see the output going high so now we can run the simulation run be behavioral simulation So now Vivado has created the waveform, so we need to go all the way back, we need to zoom out, and as you can see, when A and B are both equal to 1, C becomes 1. So thank you guys for watching the video. Please remember to leave a like, subscribe and follow me on Instagram and on Facebook. See you in the next video.